Welcome to American Baker in Germany, where the ingredients are German and the baker is American. I'm Michelle. And today we are making an Alice in Wonderland cake. This was a request from a couple of different fans. So, hello, my lovely fans. Thank you so much for the request. So here is our Alice in Wonderland cake. Let's get started. I'm decorating two cake dummies today, an 8 inch and a 6 inch. I'm doing them one at a time though. I'm starting with the 8 inch. I frost the cake with vegan American buttercream. Then I roll out a strip of white fondant and cut a strip. Then I make ruffles with a pointed sculpting tool and I wrap it around the bottom of the cake. It didn't quite make it all the way around the cake so I made another one. Then I rolled out some blue fondant and I measured how large it needs to be and cut out a circle using a large bowl as a template. Then I laid it over the cake. I smoothed on the top and let the folds on the sides as if it were a piece of fabric. I also trimmed one side that was a bit too long. Fondant can stretch a bit when you pick it up. Now I'm ready for the second tier. I frost the six inch cake dummy Then I roll out snakes of purple and pink fondant and lay them next to each other. Then I rolled out the striped fondant. This should remind you of the Cheshire cat. I covered the cake with a striped fondant and smoothed it on the best I could. It was a bit difficult because it was slightly short on the sides, but I think we can cover that with decorations. Then I stacked the tiers. Then I rolled out another white stripe. and wrapped it around the top tier. Then I made a fondant bow out of white fondant. If you need a tutorial on how to make a fondant bow, see the link in the card. I placed it on one side of the cake. Then I added some Tylo powder and a teacup, wrapping it around the end of a rolling pin. Then I added a circle on the bottom of the cup and a curved handle. If this were a different cake, I would try to make this cup perfect, but since it's Alice in Wonderland, I felt that a bit wonky was really the order of the day. Then I rolled out some more white fondant and cut it into rectangles. I also cut out some daisies with a plunger cutter, cut them in half, and formed them into little crosses to look kind of like clovers or clubs.
and I use a fondant press mold to make some twos and threes, as well as some A's. Then I place them on the rectangles to look like playing cards. Yes, I know, I should have used black, however, my black fondant was hard as a rock. So I decided to use white and paint it. I painted it with black food coloring straight from the bottle. And I placed them on one side of the cake. Then I rolled out some yellow fondant and cut out a circle. And I covered it with a circle of white. This technique is something I've used before on the police cake and others, but I cut out some small circles with a large piping tip and cut some even smaller circles out of the center of them with a small round piping tip. These are my chain links. First, I lay down some rings in the area I want the chain, and I connect them with the rings cut in half to complete the chain. Then I painted on a clock face with black food coloring. Then I rolled out more yellow fondant, cut out a rectangle, and I laid a small thick circle on top and a larger circle around that. Then I cut out a keyhole and we have a doorknob. I painted black food coloring inside the keyhole as well as two big eyes. Then I painted the teacup with pink, purple, and green food coloring mixed with alcohol. I also painted gold on the pocket watch and the doorknob. and a bit on the edges of the teacup. Finally, I took some red fondant and made a rose out of it. Tutorial in the card. I love this Alice in Wonderland cake. It has all the things I wanted to include. The teacup, playing cards, rose, watch, bow, doorknob, stripes, and ruffles. There's Alice everywhere. For more cakes and tutorials, visit our website at AmericanBakerInGermany.com. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Subscribe for a new cake every week. Hit the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload a new video.